Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I will talk about Microsoft Viva Connections, the new experience for mobile and desktop that brings together relevant news, links, resources for your organization in one single place, Microsoft Teams. I'll show you every step how you can set up a Viva Connection dashboard by using Adaptive Card where you can add contact and this will be available everywhere in Microsoft Teams. Okay, let's get started. Here I am in office.com. I'm moving over the icon SharePoint in order to jump in my SharePoint environment. So this is the SharePoint page where I have listed all the news coming from every SharePoint site, frequent sites and suggested sites. Now, I want to jump in the home site of my SharePoint tenant. So then I will remove this part of the URL and then I will jump now in the home site. It's important to follow specific requirements in order to set up properly Microsoft Viva connections. The first one is to set up a home site for your SharePoint tenant. Then you have to turn on the global navigation. You can do it by clicking on the wheel icon and then here there is global navigation. Then you are ready to go and to set up Microsoft Viva Connections. Okay, let's get started. I'm going now to open the settings panel by clicking on the wheel icon and then below you can find Setup Viva Connections, which is in preview now. Let me click on it and then I land on this panel with this button Create Dashboard. And this is what I have to do. Let me click on it and now this bring me and drop me in a new page where I have a mobile view. I will hand the tour where I have a mobile view of Microsoft Viva Connection, but I can even switch in the desktop view. Okay, let me go with the mobile view. And now let me click on the plus button to start to configure this dashboard. I will start to adding an assigned task tile so here I have the list of all my tasks. If I click here on the pen, I can edit this card. This is an adaptive card. I can decide the size of this card, medium or large. I want to have large. Then, very important here, you can define the audience targeting. That means that you can make available only for specific people or groups in your tenant specific tiles which is pretty cool. You can customize the dashboard for every user. Okay, now looks good. The first one, let me go forward with the second one. I have other kind of tiles here, other kind of adaptive card that I can add in this dashboard. I have Teams app, for example, this is very important if you have a focal and important app in Teams. Let me click on the edit card and here I can decide as always the sites. And then here I can go through the app catalog of Teams, all app that I have installed in Microsoft Teams. So this way I can highlight a specific app. This one, for example, this is the Me Experience app. Here I can define the title, I can change the description, Me Experience, for example. Here we go. I have, as always, the option audience targeting. But let me jump again on the plus button. I will add the, the last one, which is the web link. This is probably the most common. Here I can just provide a URL, for example, to our SharePoint page, and this automatically will grab all meta information. So let me set up another large tile. Let's go with medium. I will make another one here with, with a web link, and this will be large tile. Now let me go on this other one. Let me click again on edit card and now here I will paste a URL that I will grab from a SharePoint page. I'm going to paste a URL that I have here, view and benefits. Automatically Microsoft Viva Connection collect the thumbnail that was available in the page so it is displayed here in this adaptive card. Here I can change it if I want by adding a custom image. Below there is a card icon. This is auto-selected as well 
but I can even change it. So this is automatically grabbed from the home site. But if I click on icon, I can change it and I can select the icon that makes more sense with the content. This one, for example, and let me click on select. Here we go. Now I have this new icon here available in the tile. Again, I have the ability to add Microsoft 365 groups or person here in this field, audience targeting, but it's fine. So let me just move on the other adaptive card that I have here. This is the size is large. I will paste in now another URL that I have here. This is very important. Submit a service ticket. Here I can add um, a description if I want. Let me just type something here. So this will override this area, which is automatically grabbed by Microsoft Viva Connections. Okay, now let me again take an icon here. Let me click on the button change. And this one, a person with a question, it makes sense with this news. So it looks good. Let me move forward with other adaptive cards. I added additional adaptive cards and now my dashboard, it looks very gorgeous. It's fantastic. I can always switch between one view and another. So I can jump in the desktop view and here I have a preview how it looks like my dashboard in when will be embedded in my SharePoint home site. I can even click on the preview button and this will close the panel and I can focus really on the dashboard. I can switch again on the mobile view and here we go. This is how it looks like on the mobile. Very cool. And now I will close the preview. I will click on the button submit for approval, submit and now this page is available. This dashboard can be reused in my home site. I am now back in the home site. I want to place the just created dashboard in this right section of my site. I will click on edit. Then I will go over the plus button available in this section. And here I will type Viva. So I have available two components. I'll show you in a bit both. Let's start to set up the dashboard that I just created. And here we go. Now my dashboard appear here. I can click on edit web part and here I decide I can decide how many cards should be available on the dashboard. Let me go for 12. So the maximum size possible. And now I will add another component that is part of Microsoft Viva Connections. And I will type again Viva and it is the feed. This is also very important and will be visible in a bit. Here we go. Here are summarized all news coming from the home site. There is a thumbs up. There is the ability to share. If I click on it, I can just get the link to the article or I can email the article and finally I can share it in Yammer. If I try to edit this web part, we don't have options available. Probably in the future there will be more, but that's it, how it looks like. It's a slider, so I can click on the arrow here to move to every news available. Okay, let me publish now this new dashboard. Let me click on Submit, again on Approve. And now my new page, the home page is available for everybody. I have the new dashboard here available and I have the Viva feed here in this area. Now all I need to do to make this experience also in the mobile version of Microsoft Teams, I have to go in the Teams Admin Center. And I am now in the Teams Admin Center. You can just type this URL in the browser admin.teams.microsoft.com and you will land here. Now let me expand the menu item Teams Apps. Let me go in Manage Apps because we have to turn on Viva Connections which is already available here. In fact, this is provided by Microsoft and you can find it in the Apps Catalog. Now I will type Viva and 
Here we go. I have this app available, Viva Connections Preview. Now you can notice that the status is blocked. By default, this app should be enabled. So let me click on it. And here I can change the status from blocked to allowed. And here we go, now I can use this app. This app is customizable. That means that I can change the title, the description, link to the privacy policy, terms of use, and change even the icon. In order to do that, you have to click on the pencil button and then here the panel show up. There is a short name. I can change it into Contoso, for example. The description looks good. I will leave the URL to the website, terms of use and privacy policy, the full description as well, it's fine. But I will change the icon. I will now jump on one icon that I already have. I will set this one and then I will change the outline icon as well and will be this one transparent. PNG. You can find every information related to the icons to the Microsoft documentation. And then I have to change the color here. Let me go for that one and let me click on apply. Now I can publish. Now the app is published and available. I can change now the in the permission policy under global. I can check if the app is available. All allow all apps is set up here in this drop down so I can directly go in the setup policy. Let me open the global policy that has an impact to the entire organization. Add apps, Contoso. Now the app that I just created is available. I can read the provider of this app, Microsoft Corporation. Let me click on the button add. So by doing that, this app will be automatically installed for everyone. Now jumping in this other section, pinned apps, let me click on the button add apps because I want to pin this app in Microsoft Teams. Let me add again this app, add, and I want to place this in the first position. So then I will click on move up, move up, move up until I am on top. Here we go. Now I can save, all good. Now this app should be available in the mobile version of Microsoft Teams as well. Here I am in Microsoft Teams desktop. You can see that the new app Microsoft Viva Connections is available here at the first position because I make this configuration in the Teams Admin Center and it is already pre-installed for everyone. I can type here, for example, Contoso and when I click here, this app shows up and now I have my home site here available. I have the dashboard that I just created before. Clicking again on this, I have additional options coming with the home site capability. So I can even navigate through every menu available in the home site. Now closing this, it's time to see how it looks like this dashboard on the mobile version. I am now on my Android device. I will open Microsoft Teams. I am already logged here as Giuliano De Luca. And let me jump now on the app Contoso on Microsoft Viva. And here we go. I have three tabs, dashboard, feed and resources. On the first one, you can see Microsoft Viva Connections dashboard that I set up properly before. Then on the feed, this is the feed of Viva Connections. Here I can interact with every news. I can see how many views this news has, 12. I can like, I can comment, and then I can share. I can allow Teams, and then I can share in a chat, in a channel, and then I can even save to read this article later. In resources, you can find the global navigation. So here I can go through every resource available in the home site. Okay, we have seen in this video how to highlight content for your organization in Microsoft Teams and SharePoint using Microsoft Viva Connections. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe and comment. 
I hope to see you next time. Bye.